What's going on guys, Miller here, and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial that I'm doing. It's basically how to, you've probably seen it in the title, how to make a scoreboard shop. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do it with coins, as you can see, and we're going to build something like this. This is probably not the most simple way to do it. Now I'm going to show you two ways. You can do it with, with a dispenser or a command block. So, yes, yeah, so let's begin. So, whatever's in my inventory right now, I may have forgot something, so if I do, I'll just grab it. But at the moment, this is all you need, and it probably is what you will probably always need. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to place iron block, button, command block, like that. And in this command block, I'll show you here, you're going to want to write this. So, test4, at p, bracket, score, underscore, your objective name, so mine's coins, underscore, minimum, minimum coins equals the amount you want it to cost bracket so like that so did i copy it probably not no i did not so that's how you do it with command blocks you probably just saw but yeah so you do that and next you're going to want to grab a comparator a redstone comparator actually i forgot something i'll grab it but we either they're in the dispenser version next you're going to want to grab a comparator just obviously put it at the back so then when you click this button because I've got it's only going to test for 5 and I've got 140 it will turn on but now it won't turn off as you can see so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build out by as you can see 2 and 2 deep so like so and you're also going to want to build into there and break this top one but not fair you can do that so you're gonna want to place two bits of redstone here and redstone torch now as you can see it's still not done anything to it so you're gonna want to place a block and a bit of redstone turn that off then when you click the button turns on turns off so see it makes redstone signal to the next thing turns off so anyways next up you're gonna then build a T like this with a redstone torch. You can ignore that bit for now. Um, so a T like that with a redstone torch there, like so. Then you're gonna want to place a block there and two redstone dust there. Then you're gonna want to build. You're gonna want to place a redstone torch there to turn it off and block there. Then you're gonna want to grab two more command blocks and what you're going to want to insert in this bottom one is scoreboard players remove at p your objective and five so you can pause it to put that in now and yeah so it's just going to test for at p but because i've got um 140 and i'm the only one on the server at the moment going to test for me now you're going to want to put that in the bottom command block then in this top one, you're gonna want to do give, give at p your items. So I'm just gonna do stone and how many you want. So for now, I'm just gonna do two. So two, two stone for five coins. Now, if I just quickly um grab a chest to put all my inventory stuff in, as you will see, I get two stone and it takes away five points. Now I, can, now I can keep doing that, I'll just do a um, middle 4, 6, 7, 3, I'll set it to 4 oh, set coins to 4 and as you can see I will not get any more but then if I just quickly set it to 5 I get 2 more so now I have 0 which means I cannot get any now for the um dispenser version what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab everything again but also you don't but you're going to want to rebuild that and then you're going to want to get a repeater so we're going to do that so you're going to want to build a wall here if you're doing it for a map so they can't just break into the dispenser i would build out a bedrock personally i don't um yeah i'll do that actually hope i don't even know if dispensers can go through bedrock hold on guys let me just test it because I'm curious now just chuck a thing in 
Yeah, it can. So I would build that out of bedrock. So they can't cheat it in. Put in whatever you want. So I'll just put in bedrock. <laughs> like so. Place the bedrock there. Now, here, you're going to want to grab your redstone. Build it like this. And then... You can you can you can do it like that if you want it to quickly activate, but the way I like to do it is like so. Add that there, and then repeater, like so. You don't need a repeater, but I prefer the repeater. So then, when you so then when you push the button, you know, I got to set my score again. Just set it to twenty. When you push the button, get rid of this. It will only drop one. So if you just want it to drop one, you're gonna to want to do dispenser, or you can do some little redstone thing which makes it drop as many as you want. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just showing you how to do it with a dispenser. So then yeah. So as you can see, turns on, and it takes five. So it works either way. If you want to do it with command blocks, you can do that. But if you need to do enchantments, if you know how to enchant stuff with command blocks in vanilla Minecraft without a mod, and then give it to them as an enchanted one do it and tell me how because I've always wondered but kind of, I've never been able to find it but if you just want to drop enchantments and you don't know how I would say the dispenser is the best way to go for this but if it's just a regular item the command block here is the way to go so thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe if you found this tutorial um, good and helped you to make good maps and if you make a map with this sort of thing Send me the download link. I would love to play it. So yeah, I guess I will see you all next time. Goodbye, my fellow worms. Okay, sorry I failed to mention this, but if you want a um the coins, um you're gonna want to um place. You can do it by just chat, but I'm gonna show you in the command block. You can get a lever, and you can place it there. Now, what you want? Now, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna. I won't use coins. I'll just use something else. You're gonna want to do scoreboard, objectives, add. Your thing. I'll just do it as test. And if, if you want to do it for a mod mini game, you're gonna want it on total kill count. But it's up to you completely. So if you want to do a thing where you basically like um. Yeah, so at the moment, I'm just going to do it on total kill count, just to show you. Then just call it test. And if you just paste it into that, then turn it on. So I'm just going to get rid of coins. Remove coins. Okay, so then when you do that, you can do a... so this is enabled then you're gonna wanna do um, another one again you can just do this in chat but yeah you can do scoreboard objectives set display sidebar or below name but sidebar or list up to you test and then copy that in so yeah and turn it on then when I kill say I'm just gonna get a chicken because they're the easiest to kill if I can find the chicken there it is and let's get any sword or we'll go diamond sword so you get one coin per kill um now uh so yeah there, sh there could be a way to like set it to two points per kill so but I don't know how to add how to do that so yeah, I'm probably going to look onto different maps to try and find it. Oh, look it up online, you know. So, yeah, so as you can see, the more things I get, the more points I get. So, yeah. So, see you all next time. Goodbye, my fellow worms.